Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to another video. And for today, awat muna tayo sa foundation review. Although don't worry, meron na akong mga nakaline up na upcoming foundation review. So just stay tuned and be sure to subscribe to my channel and hit that tiny bell button to get notified whenever I upload new videos. So for today's video, I'll be reviewing the Wet n Wild Pro brush line. And as you can see, these are all face brushes because alam nyo naman ako, hindi naman ako nag eye makeup. So kinuha ko lang yung mga brushes na I think I will be using and I got six of them in total. So, basahin lang natin ang mabilis yung description niya as per the packaging. It says here, Pro line brushes were curated with attention to every detail. They are cruelty-free, vegan, and feature our ergonomic handle that was designed for total control. Ultra soft, premium, synthetic bristles allow for smooth and streak-free application that mimic the consistency of natural hairs. So, these are the brushes outside the packaging. And as you can see, guys, it's so... Uh, pretty but then again guys is it just all about prettiness and stunning looks so tingnan natin how it will perform so umpisa na natin with the foundation brush this is the p55 precision foundation brush and i've just noticed na lahat ng makeup na gagamitin ko for today are all from la girl so parang magiging one brand makeup na rin to siguro in a, in a way So let's try to bump this in. Tung brush na to medyo sablay na siya for me. I got, I got. So then with foundation, using the Precision Foundation Brush, and at this point, medyo hindi ko siya gusto. Masyadong flimsy yung bristles niya for a foundation brush. Considering that this is a synthetic foundation brush, um, I would have wanted it more dense kasi medyo flimsy nga yung bristles niya. So applying the foundation, medyo struggle mga best kasi it tends to leave strict marks. The foundation moves a lot and I have to keep on buffing and buffing and buffing just to make sure na even yung application ng foundation and walang visible na strict marks. And so next brush is the P60 Large Powder Brush and this would be perfect for setting your foundation with loose powder. Nakita niyo naman how soft it is and how flimsy it is. Ito, okay lang maging flimsy sa akin kasi setting powder brush naman siya. So, okay lang siya. So, perfect siya pang pat ng powder all over your face. And speaking of, we'll be using the LA Girl Pro Powder. Ito, medyo very loose ang particles nito. Kaya, dahan-dahan lang. Ayan na. Ayan. Para na akong kinukuha ni Lord sa mga particles na yan. Ipat lang natin siya sa face. <laughs> Kaya ayoko nitong powder na to eh. Parang hindi siya powder, girl. Para siyang gaw-gaw. Oh, wow. Ang sarap niya sa face, guys. As in, parang hindi ako magsasawang ganyan-ganyanin mo yung brush sa face ko. Kasi sobrang lambot niya. Medyo magaan siya compare kay foundation brush. So, so moving on to the next brush, we have the P50 flat contour brush. It kind of reminded me of my e.l.f. flat contour brush as well, but this one is looking more sturdy. And the brush in itself, medyo mukhang firm naman siya with the right amount of flimsiness on it, if there's such a word. And for the contour, we'll be using the LA Girl Pro Contour Powder. And this is in the shade Light. Wow. 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 Super chiseled look. As in, nakita niyo naman. Pak! Mm, parang hiniwa ng samurai yung pisngi mo. And perfect din siyang pang nose line. Oh, swak na swak sa gilid ng nose. So for me, okay tong contour brush na to. As in, nakita niyo naman. If you would like to achieve that super chiseled contour, perfect na perfect to. As in, so next brush naman tayo guys. This is the P65. Precision setting brush. Medyo tapered siya. And honestly, matagal na ako naghahanap ng brush na ganito. And for this video, again, babalik tayo sa Pro Contour Powder. And gagamitin natin yung light powder para lang mag-apply sa under eyes. Para siyang banana powder actually. Kasi medyo yellow siya. So perfect siya pang brighten ng under eye. Ooh, I love it! Like, sobrang soft niya sa under eye. 
So moving on to the next, we have the P70 blush brush. By the looks of it, I think magugustuhan ko na siya agad-agad for blush application because the size in itself is just so perfect. Like parang saktong-sakto siya, sakto. Sakto. <laughs> saktong-sakto siya sa apples of your cheeks. And we'll be using the LA Girl Blush Collection in Glam. So I'll just be using this shade na lang. So as I mentioned, okay si blush bra. And the way I apply the blush for today is tinarget ko kagad yung apples of the cheek and then in a circular motion, I'm working my way in and I'm trying to connect it dun sa contour para magmukha silang fused. Makikita mo yung transition between the contour and the blush. It is so nice to use this blush brush, honestly. So we're down to the last item from this Pro Brush Line collection. This is the P75 Tapered Highlighting Brush. And ang cute niya kasi parang perfect na perfect siya for uh, highlighting the high points of your face. Parang saktong sak... Yan na naman tayo sa sakto. Saktong sakto lang yung lapat ng brush, yung, yung size niya doon sa mga high points of your face. So, balik tayo dito sa glam palette na to for our highlight for today. And ito yung highlighter that comes in the pan. Medyo mahiya itong highlighter na to, to be honest, kasi hindi siya ganun ka-blinding, which is okay lang naman. Ayan. Oh, diba? It's so perfect. So, done with the highlighting using the P75 tapered highlighting brush. And I would have to say na it's super duper light as in sobrang gaan niya. Para ka lang nag apply ng watercolor sa face mo. Para ka lang nasa art class. Alam mo yun. So, wala pa akong kilay. Tapusin ko lang siya off cam. And then, pagbalik ko, I will give you my final thoughts on each of the brushes. Whether it's a heavy or wale. See ya! And this is the complete look for today. Again, hindi naman focal point ang makeup look for today. But more on the makeup brushes that was used to achieve this look. So, umpisaan ko na si P55 Precision Foundation Brush. And as you can see, parang may halo siya dito sa center. And I think that's what makes it a precision brush. Because when you put it on this side of the cheekbones and this side of the jawline, and the nose bridge and all, sakto siya. It makes sense na may halo siya kasi mas okay yung fit and yung lapat nung brush sa face. To be honest, hindi ko gusto tong foundation brush na to kasi masyado siyang flimsy, masyado siyang soft, as in nasobrahan siya sa lambot mga best. Hindi siya ideal for foundation application. Next naman is the P60 Large Powder Brush and for me, gusto ko siya. It's a heavy for me. Ang sarap niyang ipang-apply ng loose setting powder. Super perfect to, to set your foundation with your favorite loose setting powder. As in, ang sarap niyang i-pat-pat sa face. Hindi siya yung like parang tinutuso ka ng bristles and makate. No, it's not. It's super soft. And next naman is this P50 Flat Contouring Brush. And for me, it's a heavy then because nakita niyo naman kanina during the demo. Um, talagang na-achieve niya kagad in one stroke or one swipe yung super chiseled look nung contour powder. So, bongga to. So, next naman is the P65 setting brush. And for me, it's a heavy then kasi perfect na perfect siya pang set ng under eye, pang highlight ng under eye and all of that stuff. Sobrang okay yung pagka-tapered niya as in swak na swak siya for under eye. So next naman is this P70 blush brush and I would have to say na it's a heavy as well because sobrang perfect niya for applying blush. As in yung size niya is just the right size na talaga namang swak na swak siya sa apples of your cheek. So madaling i-apply yung blush pan mo. You will never go wrong with your blush application using this brush. So, bonga! And we're down to the last item. This is the P75 Tapered Highlighting Brush. And I would have to say that this is extremely my favorite among the brushes in this collection. Kasi sobrang cute niya mga best. As in, the size and... Yung the way that it applied the highlight, like a sin sobrang dale, sobrang precise nung pagkaka tapered niya. Kaya talaga namang bonggang bongga yung lapat ng highlighter sa face, sa cheekbones, sa bridge ng nose, and sa cupid's bow, and some parts of my chin. So, again, this is extremely my favorite from this collection. So, bonga. 
And another reason why I like these brushes, apart from aesthetic reasons, is the ergonomics of these brushes. Like, these are ergonomically designed. If you can see, meron siyang dent dito. Essentially, this is like a thumb breast. Like, you can put in your thumb like that and then, you know, work on your application of the product, like to blend or to swirl. Of all of the six face brushes that I've got from this collection, I would have to say I love the five, except for the foundation brush. It won't be my favorite foundation brush anytime soon, but don't worry, guys. I will still give it a chance. I will find a way to make this work better for me kasi sayang din siya, medyo mahal din siya. And that would conclude this video for today, and I hope you guys like this video, and if you do, Kindly click the like button, comment down below, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And make sure to click on the notification bell so you will get notified whenever I will upload new videos. Again, maraming maraming salamat po. And as always, I will see you on the next one. Bye!